Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Melissa, aka Missy G. And if you already read the title, then you know that today is my first time doing my liner. Well, winged liner. I don't like to do it because I mess it up all the time. I never get it right, so I never do it. So... Clearly, I don't have anything on my face, so let's prime. Let's prime. And if I look like I just woke up, I did. I literally just woke up. So I have to go to work in a few. And I had some time before Bella woke up and, you know what I'm saying, I woke up a little earlier, so I'm like, you know what, let me record something. Because today's actually Monday and I do post Mondays, but I didn't get to record anything yesterday because the day was so busy, you guys. Oh my god, it was so crazy. So, my mirror is actually right here on the side, so I'm going to be looking on this side. Because yeah so it's a little embarrassing that I don't know how to do my wind liner people are like oh my god it's so simple but clearly not for me But I can say, like, if somebody sat there and, like, tried to teach me, I would learn. Like, I am a fast learner. But I just haven't, like, took that time out, which is my fault. Because even when I wear my lashes, like, I look at it and I'm like, I know this look would look way better with some liner. But it's on me to learn, right? So if I don't take that time, I'm not going to learn. I need you guys to recommend some like skin tightening creams because my belly area from, you know, after giving birth, postpartum and all that still has not went down you guys it's so crazy i've been exercising i've been trying to eat right i've been trying to do everything but like it's really just not working so yeah it's so crazy so now i'm going to conceal under my eyes not using any new products just my regular Fenty like always you guys know I love Fenty <clears throat> and there are some new Fenty um lipsticks and I believe glosses if I'm not wrong that I really want to try Cause the colors look so good I mean I don't know if they'll look good on me but they're cute colors so who knows I would just have to try it when I tell you guys like I do not want to go to work or anything because I really didn't sleep like, and I, I don't know why I really didn't sleep truthfully because Bella went to sleep at her regular time that she always does. Which she goes to sleep at 8 and she's still sleeping right now and I think it's like 7. Like she's still sleeping. So it's not like she woke me up, anything like that, no.
but I don't know something just kept me up all night <laughs> like I'm even congested like my nose is congested I just feel so drowsy I feel so drowsy everywhere like I don't even know how to explain it truthfully so I'm gonna bake for a little bit and while I'm baking I'm gonna just do my eyebrows really quickly put a line down the middle in this crease right here because every time like during the day this crease right here I can start seeing it which I hate just gonna put some right here and on the other side All right, you guys, I'm back. I'm done baking, so I'm gonna blend everything out. Um, Truthfully, okay, so this is my thing about baking. I do like it because it does make everything set in place for the entire day, so you don't have to worry about anything. Um, But I have trouble finding like what powder is for me because let me see where is it this one is ultra lucent right but then on my skin i noticed throughout the day sometimes it looks a little yellow so i don't know how translucent that is but but i but it does like it definitely helps with like creases and stuff it doesn't crease as much and also I like my makeup lasts the entire day so I love it but I just don't know to, what to do about that yellowness that happens after all right cool now that we're baked our eyebrows are done I'm not going to put any eyeshadow on. I'm not going to do anything with any eyeshadow. But what I am going to do is put some mascara on. So, the, okay, so this is where I get confused. Do you do your liner first, then do your mascara? Or do you do your mascara first, then your liner? Since... My main issue is my me doing my liner. I think I'm going to do my liner first, then my mascara, just in case I mess anything up, I'm able to wipe. So, yeah. Here is my eyeliner, and I'm using Hourglass Color Obsidian. And I'm so scared, you guys. I'm going to zoom in for this. Just so you guys can see. So, I guess I'm going to start from this corner. Okay, actually, let me start from the outside. Just in case. Okay. So, this is going to be the wing right here. And I'm just going to connect it and then go in. So it, it really might not be as hard as I'm making it seem, but like for me, it's really hard. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, maybe it might not be, so let me fill this in. Might not be that much or that hard to do. Uh, I did something. I don't know what I did. Do you guys see? How does that look? 
Tell me the truth, too. I don't want any lies. Yeah, I think I need to practice a little bit more with this. I know once I do it a few times, I'm going to be able to get it. But... Yeah, so this one looks way better. I don't know if you guys can see that. This one looks way better. And then this one, I just have to straighten out a little bit. Yeah, they look different. Okay, so this is how they came out. So, with that being said... Let me zoom back out. Alright. So, since that's done, let's put our mascara on. I don't know why all my makeup is, like, dirty today. Not dirty. It just has, like, foundation on it. And the foundation wasn't even near half of these things. But anyways, let's put some mascara on. How's my under eye looking? Is it looking yellow? Okay, I need to blend it out a little bit more. Right here. Because I don't want it. I just, you know, everything has to be blended, you guys. You don't want to think you're good. And then go the day with, like, noticeable makeup. Or not noticeable makeup. Clearly, you can tell I'm wearing makeup, but, like, clumps and, like, you know, it not being blended. Just make sure you're nice and blended everywhere. Alright, so now, let's do our... I'm going to zoom in for this one, too. So... I'm so surprised that Bella hasn't woke up. Like, so surprised. But if you do see, like, a big jump cut, yeah, you'll know that she woke up, because... It's funny, because my she sleeps in my room, but in her crib, because I'm still working on her room. Which, it's good, but I just need to paint it now. So, that's all we're waiting for. So, Bella can get her own little space. Alright, you guys. I'm gonna do my eyelashes off camera very, very quickly. And I'm gonna be right back. Alright, I'm back. How does it look? How does it look? Tell me the truth. I know this one looks different. This one looks way better. But, with my lashes on... It looks good. I think it looks good. Even like when you go close up. And I, I, I did add a little bit of underliner because I needed to wake myself up. Like, I'm telling you, I'm so tired. So I did put a little bit of underliner. And it woke me up a little bit. So yes. So I'm good now. Okay. So since I still look a little bit dead, I think I want to add a little color under my eye. But I'm not. You know what? Maybe like a little. A little red would be fine under my eyes. Nothing too crazy. I don't want to overdo it. You know what I'm saying? So, I am going to add a little red under my eyes. Just so I don't look like a zombie anymore. I did say I wasn't going to add any eyeshadow, but... Sometimes you just have no choice. Sometimes you do your makeup and 
you know, you want it to look simple, but then you have to add something extra. You know, give it a little touch. Okay, I think this looks way better. Yes. I like this a lot. Um, if you guys like this look, let me know. Let me know what you guys want me to post next. And I caught you. So thank you guys so much for watching. And press the subscribe button just real fast while your thumb is already there. Just press it real quick.